Our Friday night slate begins with what is easily the biggest matchup of the week. This early in the season, we get treated to one versus two in class 3A, with number two Cheyenne traveling to number one Minot. The defending champion magicians opening their season against one and oh Cheyenne. UND football fans get used to hearing this guy's name in the future. On fourth and five for Minot, Griffin Broderick powers ahead for a first down, but Cheyenne would later get a stop in the drive. So it's a Mustang ball later on. Play action for Caden Olsen. The pull strap to Cooper Bryant is money. Mustangs galloping into the red zone. And they would take advantage. A few plays later, Olsen calls his own number this time for the touchdown and a Mustang lead. Cheyenne makes an early season statement winning just a couple of minutes ago, knocking off Minot on the road 24 to 17. Buckle up for this one. It's a 3A 2A clash at Fargo South High School. Bruins opening their season against the 0 and 1 Shanley Deacons. This game couldn't have started better for South. That opening kickoff taken all the way back by Javon Anderson, making a house call for a 7 to nothing Bruin lead. But the Deacons respond with an excellent drive. Carson Busick runs it in on the QB keeper. He did it again for the conversion and an 8 7 Shanley advantage. After the Deacons get a stop, Corbin Youngmark breaks free to make his mark on a long rushing score. A shootout, an absolute shootout, I should say, at South. Goes to Shanley, 66 to 45 is the final. West Fargo out west facing Bismarck. Packers backed up in the first quarter. It is a low snap, and Jaden Saylor recovers for the Demons. Touchdown Bismarck. It is 7 to nothing. Next possession, West Fargo bounces back. Mason Miller slides past the rush and delivers a strike to Ian Scarry. He is in for six, but the PAT is no good. Demons still in front, 7-6. To the second, Bismarck at the five. Logan Doctor has the cure for this play. It's, he's looking for the edge. He finds it. Bismarck leads 14 to 6, and the advantage would only grow from there. West Fargo falls to Bismarck 30 to 6. Just across the border in Minnesota, Barnesville Trojans coming off a championship appearance, taking on the DGF Rebels. Trojans putting that triple option to good use early. Major Ness, great name. He gets in for 6 to start the scoring. DGF, though, answers with a big play. Caleb Johnson showing off the cannon on this play action pass. And just like the DB, he had our cameraman in a spin cycle. Casey Macheski makes the catch and scores for the Rebels. But the Trojans still lead 8-7. to seven. Second quarter, DGF is inside the 10-yard line this time. Macheski doesn't have to run as far this time around. He powers his way into the end zone for another score. But this one belongs to Barnesville. The Trojans get the dub 24 to 14 and that's just a taste of what we're going to see throughout this high school season. We're going to have Friday Night Live back mm -hmm. in full next week. Fun night tonight. Got to get even more Still fun hitting next week. our straight. I see full football though. NDSU last mm -hmm. night, football now high school. Love yeah. it.